Well, I'm just a blues singer. Tractor driver, truck driver. I was a disc jockey for a while. Everybody want to know why I sing the blues. Survival is a word. This is a story. In 1925, the cries of a newborn baby rang out from a sharecropper's cabin over the cotton fields of the Mississippi Delta. A boy was born that day that was going to make a difference. His name, Riley B. King. If you were not black, then you were Negroes or niggers. We well, had a slogan, if a mule die, buy another one. Kill a nigger, hire another one. And that's the way I was brought up. Many people tend to slow down in their 60s. Not B.B. King. His collaboration with a young band from Ireland was about to propel B.B. to a whole new audience. B.B. King's not just great. He's like, great. He's a one of a kind. I mean, he's just like, you know, unbelievable. <laughs> You can take one note and, and make it so sexy. One note, you know, is all it takes. The note with the vibrato. One note. Man. One note. One note. I can hear B.B. King with the sound off on the TV just by looking at his face. What do you want to do with your music and with your singing? I'd like the whole world to be able to hear B.B. King sing and play the blues. When I woke up this morning, the chill was running down B.B. King, the life of Riley. <laughs>